We're taking a look at 2024 NFL draft needs, division by division. It's time to look at the NFC West, where the Rams suddenly have question marks. Aaron Donald's retirement sent shockwaves around the entire NFL. Now, the Rams have to figure out how to replace not only a legend, but a legend at one of the most important positions on the field. Where they're drafting, they'll have to decide if they're going to do that, or are they going to start to address the future at the quarterback position? Certainly, they won't be in line for one of the best, but if there's a guy they think needs development, they are in a good spot to take that person and let him sit and learn the offense. The 49ers have gone to the Super Bowl. Is there one player in this year's draft that will fix their Super Bowl woes? No, but they do have some needs at offensive line, and where they're picking, they could still get a guy that they could put in day one that could make an impact. The Seahawks are a new regime which means we have no idea. That means new decision makers. That means new strategy. That means new everything. But we also know that they're likely to be rebuilding the entire defensive side of the ball under the image of their new head coach. And the Cardinals might be the cream of the crop in this division for where they sit in this year's draft. With the fourth overall pick, they could simply stay where they are and likely take Marvin Harrison Jr., who many years would be the first overall pick because of his skill set. Or they could trade that pick for a bounty to a team that's desperate to try and move up to that fourth overall pick for the fourth best quarterback in this year's draft. Look to see what the Cardinals' strategy is, especially in a year where there is depth at the wide receiver position. Maybe not Marvin Harrison, but depth. 